Greg Roman gets bashed a lot, but I think in general his play calling and the play design in this game uh, was quite good. Uh, I'm not one who thinks he's above criticism, but I, I'm not a Greg Roman basher. This play is brilliant, and I'll try to explain it uh, as I can, as best as I can. Um, it's the play right after the double slants to Bateman, but it's really a two by two two set with a receiver outside of him. Uh, they're going to run duo. Um, duo runs uh, look a lot like inside zone. Sometimes they're hard to tell them apart. Uh, the way that I differentiate duo from inside zone, and I could be off on this, but uh, it's the aiming point of the back. Uh, if the back is aiming for uh, the, a, the strong side A-gap, that is to the tight end side, to me that's duo. Duo uh, is, of course, characterized by strong double teams. Uh, they're working to get vertical movement, working to get to the will linebacker. It's worth pointing out that the running back is reading the fit of this middle linebacker here. If the linebacker fits it downhill, the running back's going to bounce this thing outside the tight end. Uh, if, the, if the middle linebacker plays it over the top, he's going to just go straight downhill and hit that A-gap. Okay, so the play, you know, that's the way it looks. I think that's critical to see that that's how the offensive line blocks it. You can see, particularly from the over angle, how it drops the both linebackers. Um, here's that that's what Johnson is reading here. Um, it's interesting, too. They've got Tylen Wallace in this motion across the formation. And he gets that ball out to Andrews, who's wide open. Uh, we'll look at the overhead. I think it's the run blocking. Watch the effect that that run blocking up front has on the middle linebackers. And they just kind of freeze along with the motion uh, here with Wallace coming across the formation. And uh, there's probably a number two read of Mark going on here. But because of this vertical splitting uh, both corners, uh, nobody takes underneath and Mark's wide open. Brilliant play call, folks. To my mind, this is just beautifully drawn up against this defense and beautifully executed by the team. It's difficult to say that your team is killing it on any level when you lose 41 to 21. Uh, but they did have great success, I thought, uh, coming out in 10 personnel and, and out of two by two sets. This is just double slants from the number one and number two receivers uh, and, and the back to the flat. And the quarterback makes a quick decision here and a very, very accurate throw. Reads the flat. He's got two windows here, but he hits the first of them, which is the number one receiver uh, in the person of Rashad Bateman. Throws this ball purposefully high uh, to get over this linebacker. Again, very, very tight window. You can see it from this angle. Quick look to the flat. He's probably got uh, Wallace coming across later, but he takes the first guy open. Beautiful ball. Watch it again. The Ravens are going to attack this off coverage on first down. Quarterback takes three quick steps, gets the ball out quickly. The Ravens have a trio of receivers in a bunch at the bottom of our screen. This late motion by the back pulls the linebacker out wide with him, showing man coverage. And the middle of the field is clear, assuming we don't get a drop from a linebacker on that side. Again, it was a late motion. Not much time to adjust for the defense. Quarterback's going to check this safety. You can see the uh, backside safety drive. Uh, on this trio of receivers and the wide receiver makes a really really nice move at the line that's his job at this point is to win inside and we'll see from the uh other angle he just gets tremendous amount of separation that football is right on the money easy pitch and catch watch it again here's the late motion Really interesting play down by the goal line. Uh, I think a play later, the Ravens score. Uh, here, the Bengals play it very well. Ravens are going to block this zone right up front. Uh, and then a split zone look with the tight end coming across. 
The Ra Ravens were hoping this would really freeze uh, this defensive end, and it does not. Looks like he's setting up a screen. Is Mark? Hard to tell what they wanted to do there. Maybe he's just uh, not clearing out as much as he is just sitting down by the goal line and boxing a guy out. They want to get, I think, the first read here is, in fact, um, the tight end coming across. I'm not crazy about uh, this route, this sort of bender to the corner that and, or that Marquise is running. Don't like it. Uh, but I do like how the quarterback goes through his reads very quickly. Um, not, a, not a great throw, but I think a very nice job by the quarterback quickly going through his reads, wants the tight end, and then he throws it to the back corner. Again, that could have been thrown a little farther to the corner. Um, and as you see here, there's a good possibility that if this is Lamar, he probably runs this thing toward the goal line. Maybe he scores. My hope is to do another video from this game, just highlighting the play calling. I'd like to close the video with a question. Uh, and if you feel inclined, go ahead and answer in the comment section. Give me uh, your thoughts. Um, how is it that the Ravens game plan is so different with Josh Johnson than it was Lamar? Is it as simple as saying, well, this is two months later or Josh Johnson is not the athlete Lamar is? Josh Johnson was sacked once in this game, despite dropping back 40 times. Lamar was sacked five times. They're putting a lot on Lamar. I think everybody acknowledges that. Can Lamar execute these sort of calls? I know I've seen him make all these same throws. And do the Ravens think he can? Because there's got to be a balance now between his legs and his arm. And I think it's got to weigh on the side of his arm. So give me your thoughts on that question. Thanks a lot.